So this little gadget right here is the red dot finder. It's not exactly a finder scope because it gives you no magnification, but it's uh, pretty handy in uh, catching any terrestrial or astronomical object. So let's start in trying to capture Venus. Venus is pretty obvious right there, right on the spot. Just slew towards the object and try to find it, of course, after adjusting it with two little screws that you have on the uh, side and on the bottom of the uh, red dot finder. And what do you know? There it is. Face of Venus. Very nice to look at. But let's take a look real quick on uh, how the system actually works on the red dot finder. Here. You can see how the camera swing right and left and up and down, but the reflection of that little red dot is always spot on your target. That's what it does. So that makes sometimes uh, a little easier if you don't want to follow the auto star system on your media ETX. If you want to find any other object, that's fine. But uh, let's take a look at what use uh, can be made of of this device during the day. So I got outside and looked at a little app and found out, hey, the antenna of AN124 is crossing over my house. Wow. And will you look at that? Moving objects right there. Nice. This is the app I recommend getting for plane spotting. It's uh, Radar 24, Flight Radar 24. It's a free app and pretty spot on on uh, what's going on in the sky and so I was just waiting for this to come by and uh, with the red dot finder I was able to find the track and follow it going to Paris But as you can tell from this video right here, it is sometimes uh, a little difficult to find the right speed for the telescope if you're following moving objects. So that's what we're gonna go into real quick and to figure out how to use the MIDI TX properly in order to find or to follow moving objects. Right there, that's, that's perfect speed. Going just as fast as the telescope. And out of sight. So by using, uh, in order to use the telescope this way, all you got to do is to plug in the uh, Autostar control handle into the telescope, and that's all you got to do. In order to follow any moving objects, you just have to use the arrow keys. You select a speed from the uh, from the digits slow or fast <laughs> depending on what you're what you want to be looking for and here's a, a listing on what each number gives you speed number two starts with two times the earth's rotation it's re really slow goes up to 64 times uh, the earth rotation and above that it's in full degrees per second nine is maximum speed which is also about 1.5 or two degrees per second yeah that's all you got to know that's how to make the best use, basically, of the uh, Red Dot Finder. So here's some extra footage. Uh, we went to a kind of a shaky steel tower uh, just south of Hamburg, Germany, to catch a few more planes. Now this was shot during Corona time, so there were very few planes in the sky, unfortunately. But uh, I wanted to try this out since, since I had so much free time on my hand. And well, it was uh, a tall tower on high grounds, as you can see here, and it was quite windy. So I had to slow the footage down dramatically in order to actually see the airplane moving properly, as you can see here in the upper left hand corner, you see how the actual footage was. So this was a Lufthansa flight going somewhere southbound, I don't know where it was. But uh, it is actually kind of fun following these uh, planes and uh, if you want to look at a particular type or you know at a certain time or date where an airplane comes through 
while using the red dot finder and also the MIDI TX with the uh, slewing system with the different speeds. Not too bad. Also, if wildlife is your thing, <laughs> here, a blue dit. And of course, as always, the moon, which you can also find without the red dot finder. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy, and see you next time. Bye-bye.